Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, when women like you, they do this. I get an email here from a guy who wrote me, and let's go ahead and just jump right in. He says, Hi Corey, last year I met a lovely girl in the university. I'm 19, she's 21. I know that she likes th that the man takes the initiative when dating, so I made the first step. Two weeks ago, in a conversation, I told her that a friend of mine was going to play with his band in a bar that is inside a casino. The next week, which was a Tuesday, I texted her, would you like to come to the bar I told you about? And the one thing that I would, I would say with your approach is that, to me, it kind of sounds like you're beating around the bush. And so you're talking to her one week, and you're saying, oh, yeah, there's this thing going on at this casino. And then a week later... Or several days later, you're going, hey, would you like to go to that thing with me? And like I say, say is that when it comes to dating, you want to go someplace where you and her can hang out. Now, if you're going to go to some bar where, where I guess a buddy of yours is playing a show, I don't like a first date, that's really not a great environment. Number one, it's going to be loud. And it's awesome that you want to go and support your friend, but this is a girl you want to, you're trying to take out on a first date. And so if you meet and do something like that in public... It's going to be loud, and it's really hard to have a great conversation and get to know somebody if you're yelling at each other over the loud music. And on top of that, I would say, you know, also the other thing you got to worry about is you don't want all your drunk friends coming up that don't know jack shit about women and hanging all over you and hanging all over her and cock blocking and just fucking things up for you because that can happen in these situations. So he says, two hours after, she said, maybe I go, but I'll check if I can. And so basically what she was saying to you is, no, I don't want to go, but I don't want to reject you over the phone. So I'll just say I'll have to check and then I'll never get back to you. I'll never call you. And that's typically what, what women do when they don't like a guy or they're not interested. They'll say, oh, I'm busy or I'll have to check my schedule. And the thing you got to keep in mind is if a girl really wanted to see you and she really liked you, she really had a high level of interest in you, then she's going to make it easy for the two of you to get together. She's actually going to contribute and help out. Here, she's just like, ah, well, I, you know, I have to check my schedule and I'll get back to you. <clears throat> and that just communicates low interest. But if you hadn't read my book yet, you probably didn't know that. So he says, then Wednesday I saw her online, but I didn't talk to her. I waited for Thursday, and at night I texted her, hey, which did you decide? And the other thing I would say is that she said she was going to check and get back to you. And you didn't wait for her to get back to you. That communicates neediness because you've got to give a woman the space to get back to, to you. And so what I would have done, if you'd already had said what you had said, and she said, I'll have to get back to you, when a woman says that, you just say, no big deal, just, we'll just, let's just do, we'll just get together some other time when your schedule's a little tighter. And you just withdraw the offer. That's the best way to handle it when you get that flaky response. But instead, she basically said, oh, I'll get back to you. And you went, okay. And then you didn't give her the space to get back to you. So that communicates that you were unwilling to wait to hear from her. And also... To give her the space, if she would have gotten back to you, she would have, you would have known that she actually wanted to go out with you, or at the very least, she would have turned you down. So she said, uh, she said, here's the excuse of why she couldn't go. She says, she answered me on Friday, and she said she couldn't go because her mom did not want her to go to a casino. I would say that's total fucking bullshit. That's like saying, oh, my parakeet had a heart attack or something. <laughs> So I texted her, if the next show isn't in a casino, would you go? And she just said, okay. And you gotta, you got to know, it's just like, it's a two-letter response. And you're writing, you know, you're going out of your way to, to talk to her and initiate contact. And she's just, eh. So you, you got to pay attention to those things. That communicates a real level, real low level of romantic interest in you. And then he says, on top of that, he says, so I texted her, if the next show isn't in a casino, would you go? And she, obviously she just said, okay. And then anyways, I went with my friends. And so that's the appropriate response. It's just, you don't hear from her, you go with your friends. 
And so he says, I want to invite her to another place. I'll wait until next week to text her again because maybe she'll feel I'm chasing her too much. And I would say at this point, based on what you shared, it sounds like she's just hoping that you'll go away. And so he's, and then he says, a friend's birthday is near, and I don't know if taking her to the party would be a good option. I would say absolutely not. You think, because what this tells me is like you're afraid to basically ask her out on a date. And so what you're doing is you're trying to include her and group things with what you're doing with your friends. You never want to fucking do that on a first date because then you're going to have to worry about drunk friends hanging all over you or saying something that's inappropriate. You're going, holy shit, I've never seen him with a girl and you're really pretty. I mean, you just never know what you know a douchebag friend would say, especially like when you're in, you know, in the college age. So that's a really bad idea. I mean, think about it this way. And then he says, should I invite her to a place with only the two of us. And I say, absolutely. That's what you want to do. He says, I'd like, her, like, I'd like to take her to the movies. And I'd say, how can you possibly get to know a chick on a date? You pick her up and you go straight to the movies. You get her some popcorn or whatever. Then you sit down. You might chat for a while. Previews come on. You're both sitting there, you know, in total trance mode because that's what happens. When you watch a movie or you watch TV, you, your brain actually goes into a trance and you just kind of, you know, it's like you unplug. And so you, you watch a two-hour movie and then you walk out. And you're like, how was the movie? Oh, it was great. It was great. Like, and then you take her home. It's like you don't know anything about each other. You w just went and watched a movie. I mean, you, you might as well stay home and watch TV by yourself because that's not really a date. A date is a romantic opportunity for sex to happen. Taking a girl in the movies, that's something you do with your girlfriend or your wife after you've been together for a long period of time. So that's a terrible terrible option he says or something different like bowling and i say bowling is great because you can go to something like rock bowl where they have like you know usually like on friday nights or the weekends they'll have these big screens that come down in front of the or on top of the bowling lanes and so they'll they'll have like music videos or something like that playing or sometimes they'll play mo movies up there so you can bowl the whole time and it'll, it'll you know it's a great environment because you can walk around you can interact physically you can tease her you can say something messing with her and then pick your ball up and then and then take your next shot. And then this way, as you're walking by each other or you're around each other, you can see how close she's standing to you. So as you're joking, you're having a good time, maybe you're having a few beers or drinks or whatever, as you're there, you can notice, is she standing close to you? Is she touching your arm? Is she standing to the point where she's bumping into you? Is she laughing at all your stupid jokes? You know, Is she real close to you? Those are signs that like when a woman starts touching you that way that it's now okay. It's like her invitation to say, hey, touching is okay. You can touch me now. And you just slowly reciprocate. So he says, I'm thinking about asking her out on a date again via text because I hardly ever see her at the university. And I would say that you only ask a girl out twice. And if she gives you the same kind of, mm, you're not really that excited, then delete her fucking number and forget about her. And so... Wait another week, ask her to do something. Don't invite her to a, a buddy's party or to any kind of group shit. Invite her someplace cool where you can sit down, have some drinks together, or just have maybe a few appetizers or something like that, or going to bowling. Bowling is a great, great option because you can eat food, you can have drinks. You're 19, she's 21, so obviously she might be drinking, but, but you won't be drinking. But at least you can do something together to where you can actually talk and interact and have a conversation where you're not screaming at each other or worrying about drunk friends hanging all over you and cock blocking you and fucking it up for you. He says, I don't want to make the, I don't want to make mistakes with this girl. And unfortunately I would say that from what you shared here, it doesn't sound like she has very high interest level in you to begin with. But I would say just based on what you shared her, I don't think you've read my book yet. And if you'd read my book, a lot of these things, the mistakes that you're making here, you wouldn't be making. But this is what a lot of guys do. They beat around the bush. It's like you mentioned to her that there was this thing coming up, but that you didn't actually invite her to go with you. And then a week later, you said, hey, would you like to go to this thing? And that's a real weak approach because women can tell when you're interested. I mean, bottom line is if you're talking to her, she knows you probably like her. And so when you talk to her and you get her number and you say, hey, there's this thing in a week, but you don't actually invite her to do it, and then a week later you call, you're, it, it's weakness because women like guys that are direct and who get to the point and who don't beat around the bush. And see, you're not helping your case here by beating around the bush 
and you're not realizing that she's basically trying to get rid of you and her responses, but you're thinking that you got a chance with her. And so it's important to be aware of this stuff. It's you know, there's a, in my book on page 120, the, the next three or four pages, including 120 to that, like 120 to 125. I have the interest level table in there, so you can actually read it, and based upon what a woman is doing, you can peg and tell exactly what percentage-wise she feels interest-wise towards you, so you can tell whether you got a chance or not. And I'd say with this particular girl, it doesn't look like you've got a chance, but give it one more shot, give it one more try, just say, hey, you want to meet up and, and uh, meet up for dinner this week, or meet up, just say, let's meet up for some drinks. You know, are you, when are you free? question mark and if she says oh i don't know i'll have to get back to you say awesome just get back to me when you figure it out and then just don't ever call her again after that and if she contacts you then set the definite date and then get off the phone and, and have definite plans where you actually meet up at a certain place at a certain time that you both agree upon so if you find this message of value you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar which is at the bottom of your screen if you're watching this video on my website and click the paypal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video.